What is up YouTube? Welcome back to Work Knife Balance. I'm pretty excited to be diving into this knife here. I put it in the blackout case so you can't tell what it is before we open it up because I'm really excited to kind of share this one with you all today. But before we get too far into that, I want to say thank you to anybody who's already liked and subscribed. If you haven't, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. You can also follow us at Work Knife Balance 939 on Instagram. That's a great way to communicate with us. And if you send us a knife for review, we'll send you back a sticker and some swag just to say thank you for supporting the channel and allowing us to make content with your stuff. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the knife. This is a community designed knife. This is the Kaiser gavel and this thing is epic this is oh so nice it is a little knife it is not a big it's definitely full compact i mean not full it's definitely a compact knife not a full size knife it is a liner lock knife uh it has a lot of really nice stuff going on about it and the design on it is so so sleek you can hardly tell there's a flipper tab at the top here it was designed so well and that flipper tab was executed to perfection by Kaiser. This thing is is awesome. I mentioned it was a community design knife. This was designed by Loot 10 Techs. You can catch Loot weekdays on Loot in the Lab. He does a live kind of going over designing and um, AutoCAD work and all that kind of stuff and everything and what he does. And it's a really great informational thing. Lute is also a fantastic member of the community. He designed his first in-house knife a couple uh, a couple months ago, dropped. Um, he OEM'd it with another company, but it was called the Clydesdale. It was epidemic. It came out through New Breed EDC. So this is the gavel from New Breed EDC Kaiser collab here. This thing is awesome. We'll go ahead and do some measurements. We'll do some side-by-side -side comparisons and then I'll let you know why I love this thing so much. All right. First off, we're looking at an overall measurement from tip to tail, just under 6.75. We'll say 6.6. .6. Blade length, we're looking at about 3.8 with a cutting edge of about, sorry, of 2.8. Blade length of 2.8 with a cutting edge of about 2.75 there. Yeah, this thing is definitely a compact knife. We'll get some compact side-by-side -side carries here to compare it to. This is the Civivi Elementum button lock. I'm gonna go ahead and do the Devo Knives Lush. Go ahead and pull out the Ontario Rat 2 as well. We can get the Miguron Budget Pagos over here. And then we'll get one more for good measure since it's out here on the table. NAFS Lander 2 as well. All right. I'll give you a decent, I think that's five knives there um, for side by side comparisons that you can kind of take a look at. If you've got any of those knives, any of those knives kind of shows you the, the size that you're dealing with here. I will say one thing about this is this is a chunkier knife. We'll go ahead and get that Pagos out here. Both of these are true liner locks, and you can kind of see here. See if we can go butt to butt with the clip in there. See if we can get that to focus. Uh, see if I can hold it here in this way. Get that to focus. You can kind of see that butt to butt there with the clips in there. It is a chunkier knife. So if you've got the Pagos, that kind of lets you know how the gavel is going to sit in there. Um, just for comparison, I do have a Spyderco here next to me kind of show you that comparison again you can see that sits a little bit above the spider code there it just feels chunkier and maybe it's because it's maybe it's because it's definitely kind of it's a dense knife it's all together you've got some heavier materials in the brass up top and everything so maybe it just feels denser than it is but it it definitely feels a little bit chunky um, which isn't a bad thing. I like it because it's a little bit smaller handle. It feels really good. Speaking of the small handle, this thing was designed well. I wear a size large glove. I can fit all four fingers here. That pinky just barely scoots on. But with the way it's designed in this flat edge here, you can get your indexed pointer finger all the way up there. And then you can get a full grip on the hand with that thumb coming over the top there. So it's, it's designed really well. You can actually get a full hand on this and it fits really nice in hand. The blade is super manageable the way it comes through there. You have kind of this spear tip drop point coming together. It's not a true spear, obviously. 
Um, it's got a nice wedge at the top here with a good drop point coming down to it, but it is a definite, definite slicey blade. There's some really good jimping on the back here. A really, really nice jimping on the back here that you can kind of see. Kaiser's always done a good job with their jimping, in my opinion. They've always had some, some decent depth to their jimp. They don't skimp on the jimp by any means. And then there's a really nice uh, micarta to it. I've been digging micarta a lot recently. This micarta turned out really well. It's not too dry. It's not too kind of flaky or anything like that. It's it's a really nice micarta. It turned out well. And then there's a micarta backspacer to it as well, which is nice because there's a lot of weight right here. So adding a little less right there definitely makes the blade a little tip or blade heavy. You can kind of see your center is going to be, yeah, so it's definitely a little blade heavy there. Um, as you can see, I'm not really good at balancing a knife on my finger, but um, yeah. Speaking of the knife, we are sitting on 154 cm steel, so that blade steel comes in, see if we can get it out of the camera's angle there. 154 cm, if you can see right down there, which is a really nice, we've said it before, kind of the... The best of the budget steels or the worst of the premium steels, in my opinion, it just kind of rides that line and it's really nice. Um, so you don't have to worry about a lot with that. I do love the fact that uh, they didn't do a ton of branding. You have the new breed EDC, the NB EDC right here, but the EDC is very faint. Um, if you wanted to, you could probably acid wash this and get that off. Um, it says gavel right at the top there, and then you've got the Kaiser logo with the 154CM over here. You have a decent access to the liner lock right here, so it's cut down and then the liner sticks up on the other side, which allows you to get in here. Really, really good action on this. That flipper tab is the only deployment method, and it is dialed, but it is an absolutely snappy detent on that. I was I was very surprised. So this came through the pass around group and I actually went and bought myself one the other day. They are on Amazon. You can get pick them up for 82 bucks. We'll go ahead and put a link below. If you go ahead and follow that link, it supports our channel or do one even better, head to New Breed EDC's website and pick one up from there. Either way, you're supporting two community members. If you pick one up from the link down below, you're supporting our channel and you're supporting Loot, which is awesome. Or head over to Loot and just pick one up from their website. That's another great way to get it as well. So, absolutely loving this knife. Loot, you hit this out of the park for sure. I'm, I'm really digging it for sure. It's going to be one that will come into my collection and it will be another one of the community knife collection knives, which will be pretty sweet. So, don't have much else for this. Until next time, TTFN.